Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to teach third graders division. One thing you can teach them is that is the opposite of multiplication. I like to tell all my third graders this ahead of time, just so that they get that in their heads. So if three times four is going to be 12, then 12 divided by four is going to be three, or 12 divided by three is going to be four. So if they're memorizing, which they do in third grade, their multiplications times tables, they should also be able to memorize their divisions times tables. Now, what happens when it's not something by memory? What happens when we have to line it up as a whole division problem? Let's say we have three into something a little more than 12. Let's say it's um, 210. What you always want to make sure they do is line everything up. So they start with the first number. Does three go into two? No, three does not go into two. So we look at the next two numbers together. We always include the first number from then on. Three goes into 21. Yes, we know by our multiplications times tables that three goes into 21 seven times. So we put a seven right above the one. Make sure they line it up. It's not above the two because nothing went into two. It's above the one because it goes into 21. We put a seven right there. We multiply three times seven, just as we did to get 21, and we write that right below the 21. Then we subtract 21 minus 21, and that's going to give us zero. So you always write the number that remains. In this case, it's zero. Then you're going to want to bring down the next number. So we bring down the next zero. So double zeros, zero. Three into zero, it goes in zero times. So we write a zero. Three times zero is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. And so we know we've finished the problem. So three goes into 210 70 times, and 70 is going to be our answer from this division problem. I'm Rachel, and thank you very much for learning with me today.